Hey guys, this is Mokshit and in this video, I am going to install Drupal Code Sniffer to Visual Studio Code. PHP Code Sniffer is a tool which helps us to detect errors in our code according to the standards set by different organizations. For example, the Drupal Code Sniffer which I am going to install in this video helps us to check that the code we write is written according to the coding standards that are set by Drupal. These are set so that the basic structure of all Drupal code is the same. So now I'll begin the installation process. First, we'll find PS code here. I'll open this link in the new tab. But before installing this extension, we'll have to install PHP. We can install PHP from php.net. Uh, we'll go to downloads. And since I'm using Windows, I'll click on Windows Downloads. Sorry, Windows Downloads. Uh, and now we can download the zip file. I've already downloaded the zip file. Uh, it is here. Uh, and I've also extracted it. These are the same files. So uh, now we'll have to copy the contents of this file and go to the C drive. Here we'll have to create a new folder named php uh, and in this folder we'll paste all those files which we just copied now in here there is a file called php.ini-development we'll copy this file and paste it and then rename it as php.ini yes it should look somewhat like this configuration settings uh, now I'll go to the control panel and search environment and edit the system environment advanced and environment variables. Now we'll double click the path and here we'll create a new path called C PHP PHP and we'll click OK. Okay. okay. Now PHP has been downloaded. To check whether it is working, I'll open command prompt and type PHP space hyphen B. So as we can see, PHP 7.1 has been downloaded and is working. Now we'll go back to Chrome. Here for installing the code sniffer first we'll have to download composer so i download composer we can download composer installation windows so for windows there are two methods using the installer and manual installation i am going to use the installer version since it's easier i'll click on the composer setup and it has started to download it has been downloaded i'll open the folder Install for me only. Developer mode. I click on next. Next. And install. Um, next. Next. Finish. So, composer has been downloaded. We'll go back to the extension page. So for installing the package, we have to copy this and paste this in the command line. Paste it. Uh, it is being downloaded here. So now I have to install the extension. Uh, for that, I'll go to VS Code uh, extensions and search for PHP CS. Uh, I'll install this extension. Mm. 
test installing so it has been installed you know. the extension has been downloaded so now we'll go back to chrome yeah. and now we'll have to create a new task and we'll go task or something similar okay. so we'll copy this code and in the desktop i'll create a new folder called task and i will now open this folder in vs code so here i'll create a new task uh, for that first i'll click ctrl shift p should be task a task under this so uh, now I'll press control a and control B and save it so the task has been created so now we'll have to uh, download any file download any module from Drupal you can download it from build and modules uh, we can download any module uh, by clicking on it and then downloading this file dot zip file so i have downloaded the back to top module and extracted the files so in these files there is a file named back to top dot module uh, or ending with dot module we'll rename it as back to top dot php and it will become a php file now we'll copy this file to the same folder where the task was made this one and paste it here now we'll go to the desktop here i'll right click and get bash here uh, so in chrome we'll open the installing code sniffer so to register the drupal coding standards we'll have to copy these two lines and paste it here right here and paste so it should start right mm. okay so down the mm. uh, I had already downloaded the standard so it's just updating them at the time I can copy the other line and the second one paste so it has also started to download Deep. okay so it has also been done now we'll go to the windows explorer here we will copy the path of this file with for that we will click on this arrow and copy it now I will go to command prompt type cd and paste the path now I will type to check the code uh, with its errors I will type php cs is equal to Drupal and now the file name which was back underscore to underscore top dot php so here <coughs> we can see that there are 16 errors and seven, 6 warnings 
15, 17 lines. Uh, okay. Uh, here it is like that PHP CBF and fix the 19 marked snuff violations automatically. So for that, I'll type PHP CBF and the rest of the command will share the same. So 19 errors are fixed. And now five are remaining. So to check those five, uh, so we can see on line seventy five, there is a warning that it exceeds eighty characters. So in VS Code, on line seventy five, this uh, on this line seventy five, it is just a comment. So I can press enter. Comment this line. Let's check again. Uh, so that error has gone as you can see. Then on line 105. So the same thing. Enter. Let's, see. Let's check again. Uh, we actually created one more error. So PHP C PFM fix no that. Okay, so <coughs> okay. So to make the comment easier, move this and make it simple so let's see now okay uh, PHP CF. okay so it is fixed and on line 208 okay so now on line 208 which is this one here also I'll do the same enter notice let's check okay HPCBF. Yeah, so some of those are so those errors have been gone. So now there are two errors. One on line three. So it says missing short description and doc comment. So here you can write that this. have been fixed so now only one error is remaining on line 12 and this is also the same thing this is a php let's check it uh, and as you can see all the errors have been resolved and now there is no error remaining in our code so now this code has been checked and uh, it is now according to the coding standards that are set by Drupal so thank you